Hello guys, it's Tiger DHS here back with another video. And so today we are going to be doing the floating continent. Now the floating continent is one of those stages just like the Great Abyss. It's in not in the, sorry, the main Empire of Cat stages, but it is quite tricky. That's why I'm making a guide for it. Now, the first time I went into this, I didn't bring a treasure radar, but I did get a superior treasure, as you can see. And so, if you're that lucky, congrats. If you don't think you're that lucky, just bring a treasure radar. And so, the cats we are going to be taking into this are your Macho Cat, your Eraser, your Crazed Wall, you got just last week, your Crazed Macho, your Samba, your Sexy Legs, your UFO, finally back from whenever I last used UFO, long time ago, your Dragon, and your Crazed Bahamut. Now, I wouldn't bring True Valkyrie because she just doesn't deal enough damage for her price tag at the moment. Um, Leaf Cat and Tights Cat is a good alternative to your sexy legs because they're cheaper and do the, about the same damage. Your Beefcake, if you have that, Actress, Mother, Beefcake, it can be really good to stack in the back. You just take it in as your last slot that I've left empty. This Pastry Cat I've just gotten can slow aliens and angels which makes it a really good and viable cat for this stage because there's angels and aliens here but it can also slow traitless as well so those other guys are going to get slowed paris here really good hacker or nerd who's a super rare and any anti-alien uber rares are good as well and so, the items you're going to want to be bringing into the stage are a Sniper the Cat, a Cat CPU, and a Speed Up. And so, let's just jump right into this one. Turn your CPU off at the start, turn your Speed Up off, and you can get a couple of upgrade levels off quickly here. Now send out something fast like your crazed macho because there is going to be some angels coming out of the space and they deserve more attention than this bar bar and those guys see here angelic hippos and they're going to be dealing quite a bit of damage to your everything and now, this is the point where you're going to want to get a max worker cat. Get all of your cats out here. And defend. This is also a good time to stack up some of those other cats that you've brought along for stacking. Well, right now they're not synced, so they're going to be wreaking a little bit of havoc. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. And so now bring out your guys. Finally get to see UFO. His range is just a little bit more than these angelic hippos. So the UFO isn't going to be able to deal that much damage here. But still a little bit. So you can stack guys here. And as you can see, we are dealing a decent chunk of damage to these guys. And they will be dead soon. And I don't have Max Work Cat, so I'm not going to buy any more guys. Except for the Meat Shield, of course. Until I've got Max Work Cat, which I do now. And so right here you can stack some more things 
good opportunity to do that. And so you're going to have this big stack. And this angelic kippo isn't going to be enough to push it back. Okay, and there's just one cat missing from this stack. That cat is Bahamut. And he should, effectively by killing that angelic kippo, get enough money for your Bahamut. So now this morph is going to kill... Unfortunately, everything except your dragons, because it outranges everything except for your dragons. But this is a good opportunity to regroup, get your meat shields back up, because you've probably just had a period where it's been max deploy limit, and you couldn't have that many meat shields out. And so now, the Bahamut is going to release from the base. Unless, of course, he misses, which unfortunately happens way too much. And turn on your CPU sniper to cat speed up. The Nimoy Boar. This is the Nimoy Boar. Uh very scary, poor, bad haircut bloke. Who, oh, 50% knockback already. You can see we're stalling him pretty well. And at this point, turn speed up, CPU off, and they're gonna die. Your Bahamut's gonna die, that's just gonna happen. But hopefully, you've Done enough damage, not to kill him, but to get him down really close. Because soon enough you're going to have another Bahamut out here. Who is going to kill off this Nimoy War, hopefully. And... Oh, we've got him killed without the second Bahamut. That is a stroke of good luck. Right there. If you do stack enough stuff at the start, he's just going to get killed. But most times that's not enough. See, UFO has been doing that little bit extra amount of damage that has allowed us to kill him. And so now you're going to have beaten the stage. And you're going to be able to move on to the moon. You can pop your CPU on. Everything is going to be happy days. And yeah, this one can be a little bit of a struggle. But um, it is definitely doable with the right cats and the right Bahamut timing. And stacking of everything else, apparently. That has been the stage. You don't get anything from the stage except for you feel good because this is a quite hard stage. And there you have it. Floating continent. Now you can move on to the moon, which is quite possibly going to be next week's video. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.